look at Dr. Leisure. In front of 77,000 fans, uh, the first uh, play that they run is a little motion and put the motion man in the flat. Our safety man come up, they complete it. Then they come back later with a park grader on an off tackle. Cut back, run the daylight that we have to run him down. Mark Anderson runs him down about the 20-yard line. And they've taken the ball 60-some yards on us. Did not score because the field goal attempt was blocked by Bernard Hay. And uh, Dan Bass picked it up and ran it back for us a little bit. And on the second play of the game, Eddie Smith finds Kurt Gibson dragging across the middle. And all of a sudden, the big horse takes off. And he is a pretty good horse. And he oh, yeah. gets a fine block there from uh, Samson Howard. Um, and he goes in for an 85 or 86 yard touchdown. Third longest in Michigan State history. Uh, Sherman Lewis has got the first two. He's on our coaching staff, 88 and 87. Then uh, Mort Anderson kicks the first of seven field goals, I mean seven conversions. Come back on the second possession, the very first play, we find Samson Howard coming across. Our free safety, number 37, uh, hits him and misses him. Uh, had a good hit and great and, move. And just kind of uh, bounced him into the right area to be uh, running up the football field. So the next thing you know, it's a 55 yard touchdown, and we only had three plays, so we're ahead 14 0. They come back, and it's a third down, third and eight situation here, and gets outside of Larry Savage a little bit, and then Mike Decker knocks him out of bounds. But forced to the punt, we get the ball back on our 20 yard line, and he comes back and finds uh, Steve Smith in the middle to keep the drive alive. I think uh, at one time, Eddie was 7 for 7 early. He was 7 for 7 early in the football game. We come back with Leroy McGee, who takes it back down to the 30, I mean, to their 48-yard line. And, Darrell, maybe the <clears throat> best catch I've ever seen in Spartan Stadium. Well, it's a fine catch. You know, uh, Samson Hart, a young freshman receiver oh. for us, uh, he dropped that last uh, against USC. He had the same catch, same play on the football field at USC, and the ball was up. This and time, he, he caught it. Was Eugene Bird hurt? Uh, no, Gene was uh, hurt slightly, but... Uh, we came back in and uh, then ran a uh, dive play by uh, Leroy McGee and scores. Uh, they fumbled, but uh, actually was across the goal line. Then Eddie Smith defines Leroy again on the side over here. A little delay on a crossing route by a halfback. We thought it was a little late hit, but that's because of us on the sideline. And also thought he might have been hurt. Well, you can be. And then we run a sweep, and Steve Smith oh, gets yeah. some great blocks. Uh, and one block is by... Uh, Mark Bramer, the other blocked by Kirk Gibson, and Steve just runs into the end zone, and, and that makes it 28. Now, Indiana takes the ball back, and doggone it, they just drive the whole length of the football field, throwing the powers, they're tied in, who makes two fine catches. This mm -hmm. one is the very next one. They yes. come along, Gil, Guilford is their quarterback of it, another fine catch, we just miss it, Bass just, excuse me, just misses it with his hand. They come in, does another play action pass fake, the tight end rolls out, young freshman tight end, back to the corner, we blow the cover, and he scores. Eddie Smith comes back, and I'll make 28 to 7. Eddie Smith comes right back and hits uh, Samson Howard on a little uh, bootleg action. And the next thing we know, you know, we're back up uh, on a sweep with Steve Bruce. Bruce cuts back inside. We get pretty good blocking. And uh, not Steve Bruce, Bruce Reeves. Uh, 17 yards on that one. Comes back, and Eddie Smith finds Kurt Gibson down the right sideline. Great catch Just, here. It, great throw, great catch, and uh, put it out on the four-yard line. Next thing we run is uh, Steve Smith. He bounces it up inside, and we score. And because they're a great linebacker, Joe Norman having to miss us at that time, but uh, because of our blocking, we got in. And then all of a sudden, we're ahead, 35 to seven. And without that last touchdown, going back down and getting it and put away right after they'd scored, it could have been a much different football game. What a fantastic first half, Darrell. And what do you say to a team? You're up 35 to seven at halftime. You don't say much, except that you're very pleased with the way it's been going. Um, but not to let down, because if you can get 35, uh, you assume an opponent can get 35. Um, you just keep working at it, and you try to uh, um, improve upon what you've done. Now, it's difficult because you're talking about attitude. Yeah. But overall, uh, I think the players came back out and played pretty well in the second half. Well, again. you're right, and we'll take a look at the second half highlights in just a moment. We start here in the second half, and we uh, have a Leroy McGee uh, break a uh, draw back uh, into the sideline, but... This is a 75-yard, part of a 75-yard drive that took us 12 plays to score. And here's the same play by uh, little Stevie Smith who comes back up inside rather than going back outside and takes it down to about the 17-yard line. Then we run a, a bootleg action here, and he finds Mark Bramer wide open, comes in, and we score and makes it. Now the score, I think, is 42-7. to seven. And Mort Anderson kicks it. But uh, that was a 75-yard uh, drive for us, and we hadn't done much in that third quarter up until that time. They come back, and Gifford comes in and makes a good uh, throw to their outside receiver, number 80, and they, they take the ball right down pretty good on us. And then uh, we had a little blitz on and took it away from them. And uh, they punted the ball to our one-yard line, 
We come out with Eddie Smith. He finds Kirk Gibson for a nice 20 yard gain. And uh, that helped us get out of the hole when they put a lot of pressure on us. Harry comes back and throws again to Samson Howard, and it's intercepted. Actually, it was a poor pass, but it was a poor route also. They come back with a reverse, and they drop it, and Tommy Graves is in the outside and throws him for a loss, which really helped us, and I'm sure that the, uh, the fumble helped. Then Steve Bruce. I keep saying Steve Bruce. It's Bruce Reeves. Now, he has I so had, many tailbacks, Dale. No, I had a, a <laughs> Steve Bruce play for us at San Jose one year, and I can't remember the dumb thing. Uh, now there's uh, Mike Hands runs fullback at 15 yards to the fourth uh, full yard line. We come right back and we try a bootleg action again. Our guard trips and falls over the center. It's intercepted by number eight, Wilbur, a young freshman who's taken off and outrunning our tackles. But it's too bad you can't see it. A great, great effort by a guy right there, Bruce Reeves, who chased him down from almost got him on a 90. I think it was 98. 98 and it tied a Big Ten record. Yeah, it'll tie as we're <laughs> fourth throw in there. Then we don't uh, block Norman, who knocks the ball out of Eddie Smith's hand, which is the first time he got hit for all day, except after he threw the football. They come back, try to score, and Tommy Graves makes a great interception in the goal line down there, comes out, and brings it to 15. We come back, and we throw the same action to uh, our uh, young freshman, Derek Hughes, tailback, who brings it up to the 40-yard line. Then you'll find that Derek runs pretty well here. Right now, he runs a little uh, off-tackle play and cuts back. And he gets a, a couple nice breaks in here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he has great feel for where people are coming from. And he's a big kid, 6'2", 205 pounds, and uh, outstanding sprinter. And you'll watch him run the same play to the right here. And he goes in and scores a big blitz, a fine block by Mike Hans and the rest of the offensive line. And he scores. So Derek's uh, <laughs> pretty good now for a young freshman. Statistics freshman. are going to be fantastic. And he's 49 to... <clears throat> uh, to 14 that we are, and so it put us off to a pretty good situation. Darrell, the statistics, 644 yards offense by Michigan State, 369 offense by Eddie Smith, which is a Big Ten record. Uh, I know that doesn't mean a great deal, but on the other hand, the offensive side of the football, and even the defense for that matter, you have to be very pleased. Well, I'm pleased with the defense as much as anything, although we can't be displeased with offense with the way it is, but defense kept them out of the end zone. They only held them to seven points. I think it's great they kept them down the yardage under around 200 yards total um, in that type of a football game with as many substitutions. I think the defense is starting to mature a little bit to be a good football. And we can't win without good defense. And so our whole program is based on whether our defense can stay and keep the other fo football team out of the end zone.